Throughout the world, megalithic structures stand as silent sentinels to ancient societies long lost to time. From Stonehenge in England to the Moai of Easter Island, these remarkable stone constructions leave us with more questions than answers. Today, we turn our attention to a lesser known yet equally enigmatic collection of ancient structures, the Korean dolmens. These massive stones scattered across the Korean peninsula have long baffled historians and archeologists alike. Were they simply burial sites for the elite or do they represent something much deeper? Join us on Historical Highway as we delve into the mysterious world of Korean dolmens, exploring not only their historical significance but also the astonishing engineering prowess that brought these colossal stones to life. From their hidden astronomical alignments to the myths of giants who may have built them, the secrets of these structures remain tantalizingly out of reach. Korea, a land rich in cultural heritage and steeped in myth, holds a secret that few know about, a network of ancient dolmens. While many believe these stone structures were nothing more than tombs, some theories suggest that they might have served more than just a funerary purpose. Could they have been observatories, ritual centers, or even markers of a long-lost civilization? To truly understand the Korean dolmens, we must first consider their origins. The history of dolmen construction in Korea is shrouded in mystery, with the earliest examples appearing over 3,000 years ago during the Bronze Age, around 1000 BCE. These dolmens are not just a local phenomenon. The staggering number of these structures, exceeding 30,000 across the Korean landscape, suggests that they were deeply intertwined with the lives and beliefs of ancient communities. Korea now holds nearly 40% of the world's total dolmen population, making it a central hub of this ancient tradition. Yet despite their ubiquity, their purpose and significance remain elusive. Ancient folklore speaks of giants and mythical heroes who erected these stones while more pragmatic scholars view them as the work of highly skilled human builders. One of the most striking features of the Korean dolmens is their sheer size and architectural complexity. Some dolmens consist of a single capstone weighing over 70 tons, balanced precariously atop smaller supporting stones. These stones, often cut from hard granite, were meticulously shaped to fit perfectly, showing an advanced understanding of structural integrity. Imagine the coordination and effort it must have taken to quarry these stones, shape them to fit precisely, and then transport them across vast distances. Modern engineers would struggle to replicate such feats even with today's machinery. So, how did the ancients manage it? The secret lies in a surprisingly simple yet effective technique, log rolling. By placing large logs underneath the stones, the ancient builders could reduce friction, allowing them to move the massive blocks more easily. This method, used in the construction of megalithic sites around the world, including Stonehenge and the Moai statues of Easter Island, demonstrates a shared knowledge of basic physics and engineering. But transporting the stones was only the beginning of the challenge. Once the stones reached their destination, the builders needed to raise them to their final positions. To do so, they likely used earthen ramps, simple levers, and wooden frameworks to gradually lift the stones into place. The use of ramps, which may seem primitive to us today, was actually a sophisticated method that allowed for precise control over the stone's movement and placement. By building up soil ramps and then gradually removing the earth as the stone was set, the builders could achieve a high degree of accuracy, an impressive feat for any society, let alone one that existed over three millennia ago. But the sheer physical challenge of moving and lifting the stones is only part of the story. The true genius of these dolmen builders is revealed when we look closer at the positioning and alignment of the stones. Many dolmens are situated in precise astronomical alignments, positioned to mark the solstices or to track the movement of celestial bodies. This suggests that the dolmens were more than just burial sites. They were instruments of a kind, used to observe the heavens and perhaps even to chart the seasons. Such astronomical precision requires not only an understanding of engineering, but also an advanced knowledge of astronomy. For a society with no written records, the ability to align these structures so accurately implies a sophisticated oral tradition, one that preserved knowledge across generations. This attention to detail, combined with the sheer scale of the projects, raises an intriguing possibility. Were these dolmens part of a larger interconnected network of megalithic sites spanning the ancient world? Interestingly, 
the dolmen tradition in Korea reached its peak during the Bronze Age between 1000 BCE and 300 BCE, a period when similar structures were being built in far-flung regions like Europe and the Mediterranean. While there is no direct evidence to suggest a cultural exchange, the similarities are hard to ignore. Could these structures represent the remnants of a shared prehistoric culture? One that understood the secrets of the cosmos and the Earth's energies in ways that we are only beginning to comprehend. In Korea, the study of dolmens began in earnest during the early 20th century, around 1910, when Japanese archaeologists like Seino Tadashi mapped and cataloged the first comprehensive records of these sites. Their work, while often controversial due to its colonial context, laid the groundwork for future studies. After Korea regained its independence in 1945, local scholars took up the mantle, employing new technologies like radiocarbon dating, 3D scanning, and GIS mapping to gain deeper insights into the dolmen's age and construction methods. These modern techniques have transformed our understanding of the dolmens. For example, radiocarbon dating of organic material found near the dolmens suggests that the structures were built in several phases with some sites dating back over 3,000 years. Meanwhile, 3D scanning has revealed subtle variations in design that hint at regional differences in dolmen construction, suggesting that different communities had their own unique building traditions. The most prominent dolmen sites include the ones at Gocheng, Hwasun, and Ganghua. These three regions, which were designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 2000, contain some of the most well-preserved and historically significant dolmens in Korea. The Gocheng dolmens are particularly noteworthy for their massive size, with some capstones reaching lengths of over 7 meters. These megaliths offer a glimpse into the technical skills and communal effort required to construct these monuments. Meanwhile, the Hwasun dolmens, set against a backdrop of rugged hills, highlight the strategic selection of location, indicating a possible ritualistic or symbolic significance to their placement. Perhaps the most significant moment in the history of Korean dolmens came in 2000, when several key sites were designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This recognition not only boosted preservation efforts, but also shone a global spotlight on these enigmatic structures. Today, the Korean dolmens stand alongside the pyramids of Egypt and the temples of Angkor as monuments of human ingenuity, their mystery deepened by the fact that so much about them remains unknown. So, what do these dolmens tell us about the people who built them? They reveal a society with a deep respect for its ancestors, a profound understanding of engineering, and a keen awareness of the movements of the heavens. They are a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, standing the test of time as symbols of a long-forgotten era. As we continue to study and preserve these ancient structures, perhaps one day we will finally unlock the secrets they guard. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Korean dolmens and want to delve deeper into the mysteries of our ancient past, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Historical Highway. We've got plenty more intriguing content coming your way, so stay tuned.